Hey, Cigar Living YouTubers. Um, this is just a video on a curio cabinet conversion that I did to a humidor. Um, I walked into Costco one day and found this cabinet and thought, man, that would make a nice looking humidor. Um, mostly because all the cabinet humidors I'd seen are just big rectangles. But anyway, so um, uh, first thing I did was uh, you know, I thought about it for a long time because I didn't want to screw up the cabinet and there were a lot of issues I was concerned with but I finally found some solutions. Um, so the first thing I did is I, I bought some Spanish cedar laminate uh, off the internet. Uh, I think the place was called Rock, Rockwell or something like that. Anyway, um, this, is, this is the laminate. Um, now, I know that uh, some people probably look at that and say that's probably too thin. But the reality is, is that uh, uh, the the volume is such that I, I was going to need a humidifier that was going to push a lot of air, any a lot of water into it anyway. And uh, I think that you know I did a lot of reading on it. I think this is actually just fine. Um, I'm not looking for the walls to be a humidity sponge. I live in a dry area, um, and so that was one of the issues is that the humidification. Uh, was was going to need to be a lot more active than you know these passive uh, humidification sponges or the uh, even though the large oasis it just didn't look like it was going to push enough water so um, the other thing is the cost those humidifiers are really expensive for my taste they're you know a couple hundred bucks give or take so um, I'll talk about the what I do with the humidification in a second but the main thing is I bought that I lined the cabinet and then I, I bought these trays off the internet as well. And uh, the trays, you know, they're made out of Spanish cedar. They come with a divider. Um, let me come in here a second. You can see these trays. Um, there are some Spanish cedar laminated uh, trays. These are not. These are Spanish cedar. You know, we've got the slots on the bottom that come with a divider and they were all pre-made and so I just adjusted to this size and made the trays myself the shelves for the cabinet um, again with Spanish cedar bought some uh, slots off the web um, and it was actually pretty simple uh, I really just uh, used glue and staples to attach all this together um, and the humidification ended up being pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm tilted here. Um, ended up buying a, a hygrometer uh, humidity controller off of the uh, off of eBay. Ended up costing me about forty bucks. And then I bought a drugstore humidifier. Now you can see that you know this is one of these types that uses a water bottle. Now. What I've got here is actually it's like a Powerade or Gatorade bottle, and the the tip actually is set up to again use a, a regular water bottle. So I'll show you what I did to adapt this, which was basically to take the cap off of the bottle, cut a hole in it so that it would uh, fit inside here, and uh, and basically press fit it in. Um, might have put some tape on there or something just to fill it in as a gasket and so now it it screws on tightly and this has a valve in it so that you can invert the bottle without spilling anything and then once you put it in uh, the bottle will fill the reservoir inside the humidifier and uh, and then yeah this is a uh, cigar box and um, uh, I have a AC powered electric fan so both of these are wired into the same outlet that the that's controlled by the relay in the humidity controller. So as soon as the set point gets reached uh, for a minimum humidity, it switches a relay, powers up the outlet, both the humidifier and the fan turn on, um, and and then that's it. So the humidifier humidity controller here is in the back. Now the thing about this cabinet is that there's a like a three inch space in here 
above the cabinet where all the electronics can fit. So you see there's this controller. Right now it's reading 48%. That's because I've had the cabinet open quite a bit and it's starting to recover. Um, and it'll, from this point, it'll take about 15 minutes to recover at the rate that it, it blows vapor or water, not vapor, water into the, into the air and it'll start to settle down. Um, now the other thing that I did here is this cabinet, the way it was designed, only uses one lamp up at the top. And you can see the glare from a lot more lights there. So I'm not using that. Uh, what I did is I ended up wiring a strip of LEDs along the sides here. And so that was, again, that was pretty cheap. That was 20, 25 bucks off of eBay. Um, but those are wired in to the, the switches that were on the cabinet originally. Um, so I hit the, I can just touch the, the uh, hinge and that turns on and off the lights in the cabinet. Now the humidification, like I said, it runs, um, there's a, a sensor inside the cabinet, you can see right there, and that reads the, the humidity, and then up in the corner over here, um, it is a little silver capsule, and that measures the temperature, and then this can adjust for relative humidity to the temperature in the air. Um, the whole thing actually ended up being pretty straightforward. The controller off of eBay cost about 40 bucks. It's actually a lot cheaper now. I think I saw them on there for 23. Uh, and the humidifier itself cost me 20. So for, you know, plus the outlet and a little wiring. So for about $65, um, I bought a humidifier that will cover all this volume. And this will actually handle the volume of both sides of the cabinet, which is part of the reason. Now there's a wall in between. Uh, but my plan is that when I go to expand this, I'm going to put some holes on the, uh, in the side of the, the panel and put fans to circulate the air back and forth so that I get circulation kind of going from one cabinet back to the, from the first cabinet to the second and back to the first. Um, this was all uh, a lot more straightforward. Another reason that I went with a laminate, by the way, is I was concerned about you know the shells and having to match all the holes, but by using the the laminate, um, as you can see here, I was able to just punch through the the laminate to the existing holes, and and not have to worry about trying to match the spacing because otherwise you got to buy fixturing to 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 measure that all out. Um, otherwise, I run the risk of a sloppy job. Other than that. Um, I'm able to add another shelf. I actually, I've actually got um, more cigars that need to be go in here, but they're sitting in a Pelican case right now with a, a little Oasis controller that uh, that was not able to handle the the, the volume of, of uh, air here in this cabinet. Um, but once I add a little bit more to that, that I'll probably add another shelf. And when I get to the point that I need you know, a total of five shelves, let's say I've got three in there now plus the bottom. And when I get to the point where I need, you know, at least two more, I'll I'll go ahead and convert the other side and build another three. So that's that's it on the on the cabinet. Uh good luck with your project.